Well, good morning, America. This is Jim Bob from Jim Bob's Commentary Channel. Back at you. I'm um, having me a cup of coffee. I got woke up a little bit. I'm gonna make me a second video today. Uh, this is gonna be on uh, uh, a woman for the president. First woman for the presidency. And uh, I've been uh, studying, uh, watching the Seaman in News and uh, the Fox Blonde Girly Channel and uh, all the rest of them and uh, studying on them talking about um, Hillary Clinton and uh, Carly Fornarini Ford, are um, a lot on there. Now old Carly, she was pretty low in the polls till they did the uh, Seaman in uh, debate and uh, she, boy, she skyrocketed right on up there. She passed up old Ben Carson and uh, now She's right up there next to Trump. Uh, that must be an uncomfortable um, position seeing as how uh, them two get along. But anyway, that's where she is. And then you got on the other side there, you got the Hillary Clinton. And she's, uh, she's leading the Bernie Sanders. Uh, he's a Communist Channel fella. And, uh, but he's been moving up on her too. But anyways, Let's just say, let's just think about this. Just, just, uh, uh, just think, uh, what if, it's a what if, um, at the end of the day, when it come time to vote, you had Hillary Clinton on the Democratic side, and you had Carly Fornerator on the, on the Republican side. What if that was your choice? And so here you go, you would be right there, uh, the first woman president you'd have to decide on. You'd have to decide on whether it would be Hillary or whether it be Carl Engler. And uh, I'd be, I think that'd be kind of interesting myself. You know, uh, women nowadays, uh, there's some women, there's a German woman president and there's some other woman presidents on other countries. I can't think of their names right now. But there's, there's so it's nothing new to have a woman out there in charge of things. And uh, men, you know, if you think about it, um, you see, oh, y'all might have noticed I got my smart glasses on today. This is a smart summary. So I put on my smart glasses. These glasses I've got on here, uh, Rick Perry has proven that uh, they make you look smarter. And if that dumb son bitch can look smart with glasses on, I can too. So anyways, uh, to get back on the subject, um, so, uh, you got your women running for president, and, uh, where the hell was I? I, I, I was, got my smart glasses on, I can't remember where I was. So, uh, Hillary and, uh, for, for the president, it'd be a good, good thing to, to do. You see, and I said this before in one of my other commentaries, it'd be kind of neat, uh, I think, if, uh, we got in a, I don't want to get in a war again, but if we got in a, a skirmish with, uh, say, um, I don't know, Iran or uh, Syria or one of them other ones over there, one of them countries over in the Middle East, and Middle Eastern people, they can't get along with nobody. They can't even get along with their own damn selves. Uh, I'm sorry to be cussing on the TV. Uh, don't, don't ban the FCC. But anyways, uh, we got in a, a conflict with one of them, and uh, a woman whooped their butt. That, that'd be something all right, uh, that uh, an American woman whooped their butts. But oh, I know what I was on, on back on there. Men, if you think about it, you might have thought when you was married, I know I did, that I was in charge. But I've uh, got a little older and a little wiser now, and I... I don't like to admit it, but uh, Loretta was in charge, it weren't me. <laughs> yeah, uh, she let me think I was in charge. Uh, see, that's what a smart woman does. So if you had a president, it was a woman, and uh, she was in the conflict with the homotany over there, and she let him think he was in charge, and then really he weren't in charge uh, and she got whatever she wanted. That's kind of the way uh, uh, things have worked out in my life. 
and I got no complaints about it. I mean, it, it it's a pretty good deal, really, when you think about it. So, uh, there, I just wanted you to think about a uh, woman for the president, and uh, uh, be open-minded like I am. Uh, don't be closed-minded, and uh, just you get open-minded about it, and if it's got to be a woman, it's got to be a woman. So, uh, I just wanted to think about that a little while, and uh, I hope you all will too, and watch the Seaman in News, and watch the Fox Girly Channel, and, uh, well, I should stop calling that the Fox Girly Channel, and, and just, uh, just call it the Blonde Boy, Blonde Channel. Um, but anyways, uh, watch them channels, and others, uh, PBS is a good one, and CBS, and NBC, and ABC, and uh, BBC, that's why I can get no, I can get no BBC uh, shout out, but anyway, watch them, and uh, Jim Bob's out.